I say hi. I say hi. Uh, oh, no, okay. <laughs> And welcome back to South Korea. It is daily vlog number two. We made it guys, we got here. Some said I never would, <laughs> but we got here. I'm staying in the Hongdae area right now, which is like the sort of hip area of Seoul. And it's actually my last day. I'm flying tonight, leaving South Korea, and flying to Bangkok. I've got one thing I want to do today before leaving and hopefully I get a chance to do it. Right now I'm going to grab something to eat. Well these look incredible. Hello. Could I have that one? This one? Yes please. Yeah. Bacon quiche thing. Yeah, really nice. I think I forgot to mention in yesterday's video, by the way, that Rich, my friend I was traveling with before, he's left now. He's gone to Australia to begin the working holiday visa there. Um, he's, he's got a blog and Instagram, like you guys know. So I'll put that in the description below again, and you can follow him if you want to follow the rest of his journey. Just having a quick coffee back at the hostel now because it's really cold outside. I didn't realize how big the difference was between Busan and here. It's just like five hours on the train. But it's so much colder in Seoul than it is in Busan. I could walk around in a t-shirt there, but today it's zero degrees and it's gonna go to minus five tonight. So I'm glad I'm going to Bangkok. I'm just gonna finish this, grab my stuff and then head off. <sighs> right, let's go. Right, just got off the metro, and this is the place that I was aiming for. Yeah, it's open. Cool. <sighs> yeah, it's a raccoon cafe, <laughs> which is just so weird that I have to come here. It's a cafe where you can order coffee and cakes and smoothies, and there's also raccoons to play with. <laughs> They're in another room. They're not in this little cafe, so I'm gonna go in the room and go have a look. Okay. Oh, whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and have a... What's his name? Hongi. Okay. This is really cool. You see the guy just up here? There's one and there's another two behind me. We're not allowed to touch them or go up to them unless they come to us, which is fair enough. But they're just chilling out up there at the moment. Really weird, but really cool. As you can see, 
they're really sleepy right now, which is kind of fair enough. They're meant to be nocturnal animals, I think. So, but yeah, they're here. Raccoon Cafe. Cool. strange thing to do before leaving Seoul but it was actually one of you guys on my Facebook page told me about that and that's why I came and checked it out so thank you we were told beforehand well I was told beforehand that I wasn't allowed to go and hug any of the raccoons but that lady in there clearly had different plans and they loved it so I, I don't know I don't know what that's about tried to stroke one he didn't really like it <laughs> anyway right now I've just run out of time in Seoul, so I need to head to the airport. And I'm here. I actually need to try and get through pretty quickly. It's 5.30 already, and my flight's not until 8, but I have a Skype meeting in an hour. So I need to get through, get sorted, and be settled somewhere to get on the Skype call. I need to check in first, and then get through security. Oh. And this is the queue. Hmm. Well, that's a nice touch. Anyway, I got through um, after a little bit of a kerfuffle because Thailand apparently now needs you to have proof of an onward flight or a return ticket which I didn't have on me so I had to sign this form to say that I won't hold them responsible um, and I'm gonna try and download it now anyway let's go get settled right got about the quietest spot I could find right now grab myself a coffee let's do this And of all places in the world, Seoul, well, there's meant to be the best internet. The Wi-Fi isn't working. Damn it. I'm gonna have to do it on my phone, I think. <laughs> Life of a travel vlogger. Hello? Yeah, it didn't work. Tried my best to get the connection sorted, but couldn't have that cool. Um, need to board in about 15 minutes anyway, so I said let's rearrange. It was actually from my YouTube manager that I got from YouTube Next Up. So yeah, really useful call, and it's going to be great to speak to her and to find out some more about YouTube and about my analytics and insights and all the exciting stuff in the future. But right now, it just didn't work. Um, Anyway, I'm gonna go board, I guess. <laughs> I just had a complete panic. And like, for anyone that knows me, I'm usually pretty relaxed. I don't really like panic, but right then I really did. Uh, I couldn't find, you know I said I needed to download my ticket from Bangkok onwards. I couldn't find it anywhere. And I looked all through my emails like, all the way back for the past few months and I couldn't find it anywhere and I was panicking because if I booked that flight now then it would be so expensive I booked it a while ago which made it cheap but eventually I realized that it was in my other old email Whew. Now, I realize I've talked quite a lot in this vlog but I guess that's that's what you get if I'm gonna be daily vlogging you get to know a little bit more about me, like little things like that. But yeah, my heart was racing. <laughs> anyway, I'm just waiting now. I'm gonna board in a minute. Thank you.
Isso aqui. Thank you for watching, and this is my life.